Hello guys, today we're going to see another cool AI writing tool. It's called AnyWord. Let's just jump right in. It's an AI tool that lets you get started for free. So I've signed up. Uh, I've also added a detailed review uh, link and link for the review and a link for the free trial in the description. So let's just jump right in. So I've done a trial. So this is my second trial just to make sure that I can do this video for you guys. So once you sign up, it asks you what your role is. I don't understand necessarily what it does, but I'm just going to say I am uh, there. Let's see what I get. Okay, just me. So you know, it kind of helps you understand that the focus is primarily on uh, the focus is primarily on corporates. I mean, otherwise it's it's not going to ask for this. So it's just me. So I don't like to waste time, so I'm just going to say something. I'm going to say Google. It's basically showing you that you know what, what you get for free when you sign up. It's a data-driven editor, so we will look at what uh, these tools are. We can also do a blog with it, uh, and then it's also you know a website-specific targeted messaging. Let's maybe do a blog with it. This is one of the favorite ones for me across all topics. So which what I mean, the first thing that you want to check in an AI writer is its quality. So let's say uh, how to keep your new year resolutions in 2023. So this is what I want to talk. And I think the, the keyword I would like to include is maybe this. Uh, so I've used Moz to uh, check out related keywords on this term. So you know, this is what we are going to do now. We pick these four keywords here and we add them onto any word. And then let's see what any word does. Okay, so we've defined that uh, topic of industry. It's undefined. Uh, it's these keywords. Let's hit next and let's see what any word suggests us our titles should be. Don't make these actually like these for two reasons. One, because everybody is going to write about what is good. So, you know, it's maybe a good approach to say what you shouldn't do. And you can see the scoring here. Uh, it it kind of also gives you the engagement score. You can see which gender type and age group this is more likely to you know attract. Just for the sake of it, I'm actually going to go with this one. This seems to have a balance, and it seems to uh, you know be focused more from 18 to 60, which is a good range. Whereas some of these other titles have. Uh, sharp tendency towards you know one section so i'm going to go with that one so i like that one by the way so very well done any word and then i ask it to make my outline and let's see what any word does losing weight exercise more eating better saving money quitting a bad habit i actually love it i mean we've seen an example so let's maybe try it again just to see if we get a different variant I mean, these are probably some of the most common ones that people would. Uh, so, you know, it makes sense. But uh, I would also, you know, be very curious to see how any word takes a different take on the subject. It's, it says, don't make these resolutions. Okay. Generate again. Uh, it added quit smoking. Maybe not what I would want to add. I'm not a smoker myself, so it doesn't make for me to sense for me to add that because I cannot be honest. Stop, get out of your comfort zone, set real estate. Okay. Okay, let's go with this one. I am curious on not anywhere is good. Okay. And and it gives you a scoring with each each output, which is brilliant. Actually, I like this, though it's got a poor score. 
Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? This is what I closely relate to. So I'm going to go with that one. I like this introduction. I write primarily for the US audience, so I don't mind it seeing, you know, most Americans. Of course, I would think this is universal. Okay. So if you are going to make a resolution just gonna copy paste sorry it's going to be like over the shoulder kind of video because you i want you to see how i do it and see if this is something that would work for you um then you cannot ignore these three things. I'm, I'm just going to say those keywords. So let me say, let me just generate and then see what happens here. I want to see how creative any word can get. So my the, the intention I want to do, uh, my intention is I'm, I want to say, stop comparing yourself to others. If this is your resolution, then it doesn't fly by itself. It's deeply wired into our subconscious. We would need some, some support for this to actually work. Yeah, I actually like this. That's a keyword. I like the way it's uh, it's started this paragraph. Actually, love it. Okay, here it is. It's basically saying it's no surprise. Nobody has a perfect life. Every person has a different experience. Okay, and continuation. I think it, I might need to edit. Read books, new resolutions. Okay, don't be afraid to share. Telling people what makes you proud. This I'm not so sure if I want to add. But that's fine. Okay, get out of your comfort zone. Most people wish to do something, and as you saw before, they don't. So unless you you start start so i'm just going to say i mean you can plan and plan and plan but this needs action Okay, so I'm, I'm going to ask it to generate now. Uh, that's my theme. So get out of your comfort zone. Don't do it unless you will act. You know, don't keep promising yourself that you will do it one day. There you go. That's a lengthy output. Let's see how good it is. Okay, it's actually starting a brand new topic. Okay, I mean, I think I can tweak that to say these are some of the actions you can take to move out of your comfort zone. Uh, I, I might need to tweak, but I like the ideas. Okay, let's move to the next one. So this is the next thing for me. I, I want to promote the concept of outsized action. Of course, there's an example of people who've been doing tiny things consistently over years and, you know, it leads to massive results. There's examples of people doing outsized actions, like, for example, Mr. Beast on YouTube. My own take on the subject is unless you've got enough persistence to do the same thing over and over and over again, I would rather have you try something massive for a while and see if it works or not. So you know, if you're going to make a goal, let's say you start your own blog, whatever, I would say you know, write 100 articles in three months rather than write you know, two a week. Not too many people have this persistence level.
I think here it's completely ignored what I've written. So I'm going to ask it to try again, uh, which maybe I undo. I just ask it to generate. Let's see what it generates. OK, it's going in an interesting tangent. So let me just play along and see where it leads us. OK, I think it's kind of taking a loop here. So I might have to tweak this a little bit. Okay, let's quickly look at what else it can do. Uh, and again, uh, along with this, you also get uh, to check the originality. So you can click this button uh, with each section, and it'll, it's probably going to tell you, you know, how original it is. So for example, here uh, on this, it's 100% unique. There isn't any duplication, so it also kind of helps you save on, let's say, a subscription for Grammarly or another tool that you might otherwise use for this. Okay, so. Uh, I have to be careful with my usage. I'm still on free trial, so uh, it doesn't uh, give me a lot. It's only 2,000 words, which is one of the downsides, I think. OK, let's maybe try Instagram caption. I'm going to say, um, what should we write about? Let's just say any word is a cool new tool that helps you write a full blog in minutes. Let's see what the caption could be for this one. OK, let's see this course. OK, I actually like that. Well, I might have to, if I really want to see five minutes, maybe I might add more, but I like the tone of it. It's gender neutral, and it says who are the most likely uh, people to engage on this one. I feel like this as well. I like this as well. So actually, I do like the quality here. We will try another uh, template. So when you click all the use cases, you can see what any word could be used for, whether it's Facebook ad or Google ads or you know Twitter. I mean, you, you've got most of your social media covered here, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Um, you can you can create landing pages, you know, improve them. You can improve your meta descriptions, Instagram, you, you've seen it all. Um, you can do social here. For example, you could do your YouTube videos title and description here. Let's maybe try that one. So let me actually generate a title using any word for this review. So my input is any word AI writing tool review, and let's see what I get. Think twice before you type. Don't read your reputation on any word. Mm, maybe not. Any word AI in your era and text generation? Maybe. How AI writing tool helps me with English? Probably not. I, I think the first one is that. So let's uh, use this option to maybe change the tone. Let me say in age groups. I don't know. OK, it's changing. Changing, changing. All right, I get uh, I get some new results. Think twice before you hit send. I like that, but not for this. Now that you're a serious business, okay. I would probably tweak that into something else. Now that you're a serious business person, think twice. What I, if digital future is what we want here, how we act no matters. I like these, but I don't know if anyone knows about any word. But I like these titles. I let's change that. Writing any word AI, I'll say tool review. Pros, cons, pricing, and more. All right, let's do that and let's hit generate. Okay, any word AI review, tired of poorly written content. All right, I like the second one better. I like the third one as well. Let's see how it engages. Okay, I don't know if that's a target group, but at least it makes it visible. Any word AI review, it's it seems more neutral, appeals to you know people between 25 and 55 mostly, and this one appeals to slightly more uh, slightly younger audience. Okay, so I mean if you know your audience, then you can kind of 
pick the right one for you. So again, if you're a copywriting agency or a marketing agency, this also helps you immensely because you can see uh, who is more likely to engage with your content and pick the right uh, titles. And of course, you could also have variations of this uh, copy and then use different titles that engage and appeal to different audience. So going to the most important question is, how is the writing quality of any word? For the long form, I think it could be slightly better. I mean, I it was up and down for me. Um, it, when I started off with the titles, uh, it was brilliant. Uh, I was pretty impressed. But as it got you know lengthier and lengthier, I had to tweak a little more. So I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, the writing quality, I would say is about could be between six and nine, depending on you know where you are on the topic and you know how lengthy the post is. But if if you are used to AI tools, you would see that it's also common with most AI tools. They kind of start you know, struggling after a point. On the features, uh, we've seen that I think everything is covered, and I've covered a lot of AI tools, so I think this covers practically everything that usually the other AI tools cover as well. So on the feature, I would say you know it's pretty high. Um, I'll probably put it on par with the best. But the more important question, pricing, how much does this cost? Okay, AI, uh, anybody AI used to have a free plan that lets you write 2,000 words a month, but now they've stopped it. Uh, they used to call it free plan. They have now moved to two tiers. There's a startup plan and a data-driven plan. And it's uh, it, the pricing, I would think, is similar to Jasper. Uh, Jasper, you have the startup mode, I think, at $29 a month when you pay annually. Yeah. So this is priced similar to Jasper. Uh, and with 20,000 words a month, I think it kind of puts you as pricey as Jasper. But if you're an agency uh, or if you're an influencer or if you're a blogger, if you're an SEO specialist, $29 a month isn't a huge investment, to be honest. I mean, for, you need that basic tool. And if you could go with something cheaper as well, but is $10 going to make or break your business? I would guess not. So $29 a month is, is decent enough. If you like the outputs, you get over 100 different templates that you could use, including the blog visit post. And of course, you can also write in 30 languages. I do this in English, but I also know people need this in other languages. It supports 30 languages. You could, you could pick and choose what you like, and you can create a copy and let's say do 30 times over in 30 different languages if you like. Uh, when you pay annually, you pay two months uh, you get two months for free, which is also, I think, similar to Jasper, and the pricing is similar as well. Uh, you get 20,000 words at this price, but then uh, if you need more, you start paying more. Uh, I will put a detailed review of any word in the description, and you can see I've also gone through the pricing, and you know maybe the right plan for you is if you're a starter, go for this, try the tool, and if you like it, switch to annual. But uh, you might also watch another video where I've compared different uh, tools and maybe help you pick the right one for you, depending on how much you write and what you write about. So it's a good place to start. But anyway, remember, you can get started for free without a credit card. I have added a, a free trial link in the description so you can try that. Now that's for the pricing. Uh, sorry, the other data driven plan, this is for you know the large agencies. Uh, and you get uh, you pay a little more, but you get more words, and you can share this with multiple people as well. And you get uh, you know real time predictive performance score. You know what we saw earlier in the video, and of course you can take your uh, copies and boost the scores and improve on them. So you know you get better conversions. So going back to the main question, is any word worth the money? Should I invest? So three things I would consider. First, the quality. Try out the tool, take the free plan. If you like the quality and if it's to what you want for your business, that's the primary factor. Well, I, I think my personal view is the quality can be extraordinary to average depending on what use cases you want this for. So try the tool out to assess quality for yourself. I found it really good for short copies. Number two, pricing. At $29 a month uh, or $24 when you pay annually, it, it's not so expensive compared to its competition. I mean, it's slightly more than you know other tools, but it's not the most expensive tool. Uh, so yeah, it's it's okay. You should you could try it for free, and then if you like the quality, the pricing isn't a huge 
decider, I would think. These two going for you, I think Anywhere is a good tool for you. It's got a lot of templates. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have an AI image generator. So you probably got to use Pixabay or Pixels or your own AI image generators if you like to use your own images. So that's one. The second is, you know, you still need a tool for keyword research. You still need a tool to content or validate your content against a SEO score like Surfer SEO. I use Surfer SEO as well to check if my content is going to rank uh, on the first page of Google. So, you know, you might want to consider bringing those tools into your kit as well. So, you know, it might add onto your exp expenses a little more, but because I wouldn't know uh, how much to trust these scores that I see from any word. I mean, it's not Google, so I don't trust it yet. They look very predictive, but I'm not sure if I, if I would just take it without validating it on another tool. So those two I would consider uh, if I were you, but that's it. The trial link is free. You don't need a credit card, right? I mean, just go for it. What's the worst that could happen? You might, you know, burn 2000 words faster when you're in the trial period. That's the worst thing that could happen. And well, if you choose not to go forward, just stop. Or if you choose to go forward and buy a plan. So should you go for any word? Yes, try it for free first before you make up your mind. See you in another video, guys. Thank you.